Rick said he basically left your knee decision up to you. How, I don't know, how do you approach that? How difficult is it to miss games versus trying to be ready before you come back? It's really tough missing games um, because I'm in the latter part of my career. Um, I'm trying to cherish every moment, and being on the sideline isn't a lot of fun. I'd much rather be out there, but you got to do what's you know, best for uh, my health and my situation, and I, I respect Coach for respecting me and my decisions and the decisions of Chad and G. Um, but, you know, moving forward, it'll be, you know, a game-to-game -game thing. It, it feels good. It's felt good for the last couple of days. Um, and so I, I like where we're at right now. How challenging, when it's your decision, you know, how challenging is it to decide not to play when you know that's the best case scenario for you long-term in the team? Yeah, it's, it's really tough, but, you know, I have faith and my teammates because, like I said, I think we work as hard as any team in the country, if not the hardest out of everybody. And so I know that everybody in the locker room is prepared to, you know, take the challenge on who, of whoever we're playing. But it's tough um, not being out there, not being available to be out there at my best. When did you realize that kind of something was, was wrong again and you needed to, to sit out battle for Atlantis and everything? Um, I, I felt it during... The Colorado game, um, I was skeptical about playing in that one. And then the Florida Gulf Coast game, I was very skeptical, skeptical about playing with that one. I just felt like we were kind of de degressing and not getting better. Um, and so I just took a step back and um, let Chad and G, um, you know, come up with a plan for me moving forward. Um, but yeah, it was early on in the season where I knew something wasn't really right. And it just kept seeming like it was getting worse and worse. But I like, uh, I feel like we're moving in the right direction now. Uh, when you did check in for the first time, right over here, when you did check in for the first time today, there was a pretty big applause and it looked like you cracked a smile. What were your emotions like in that moment? Um, it was fun. You know, I miss being out there and I guess the fans miss me being out there too. So, you know, it's kind of humbling just knowing that, you know, they, they always have my back. Um, and Vol Nation, like I always say, is second to none. And, you know, that's just an another example of that. But it was a lot of fun. Um, and I'm very humbled that they, they gave me that kind of introduction. Seems like Julian's kind of turned the corner since going back to Battle for Atlantis. Just what have you seen that he's doing better the last few games? Hmm. Yeah, he, I mean, he's doing what, what, what we see him do every day. You know, he competes at a high level. I think he's a great competitor, and he's a really good basketball player. Like, I mean, the guy was a McDonald's All-American for a reason. Um, he's, he's as good as any freshman that I've played with. Um, and so I think he's just... You know, it's about experience, and you know, as you stack games, stack minutes, you you learn how to play, learn your role, and I think he's just learning and excelling in his role right now. Appreciate it.